Hello, thank you for taking a moment to watch this video and on this particular training we're going to continue talking about our HubSpot integration and more specifically I want to talk to you about these activities, these call activities that are logged back to HubSpot after a call. So hopefully you've watched some of the other training and you already know how to get the apps installed so that activities are logging. But now that you've got calls getting logged, let's say, for example, you call somebody and you leave a voicemail, you may not want the call outcome to be set to connected. You might want it to be set to left voicemail or no answer or any of the other options that you have available. Let's first jump over to phone burner. From within our phone burner account, we're going to go ahead and click on our initials in the upper right hand corner. Go to dial session. So in the dial session settings, we're going to go to dispositions. And let's go to our starter dialing set. So let's take a look at this voicemail button. So this is the button that we clicked on for this specific example, right? We called Walter, click the voicemail button, and it logged this call activity. But of course, it was logged as a connected call. However, if we wanted this to get logged as a voicemail, we would actually need to edit this button and we need to make sure the call status matches the option that's listed here. So let's go with left voicemail. So we'll change that to left voicemail. I can leave the button label as voicemail and I can leave the note that's added to phone burner's left message, but the call status is what we're gonna use to try to set the call outcome correctly on the HubSpot side. So let's go ahead and save changes. And now you can see this is set to left voicemail and that is one of the standard outcomes listed here, left voicemail. So now we need to go and do a test dial session. So let's find Walter. Go ahead and copy his email address. Let's jump back over to phone burner. I'm going to open up a new tab. I'm going to do a quick search for Walter. There he is. And now let's go ahead and launch our dial session. All right, so now we're calling Walter. Let's say we click that voicemail button and we're off to our next call. Let's go ahead and pause that. Go back over to HubSpot and let's refresh. We'll see our new call was just logged and the outcome is set to left voicemail. Now let's talk about what can actually be set here. So let's open up our call outcome option here and you'll see these are the call outcomes. These are the standard call outcomes that come out of the box with HubSpot. Busy, connected, left live message, left voicemail, no answer, and wrong number. I understand that on the HubSpot side, you can actually customize these outcomes and you can create additional options that will show up in this menu. Right now, PhoneBurner does not support setting custom call outcome values. Only the standard call outcome values. So what does that mean? That means that on the phone burner side, if I want to make sure that when I log a call as a busy signal, when I'm making calls using phone burner gets logged with a call outcome of busy in HubSpot, I need to update my busy signal button to not be busy phone, but to just be busy. And rather than bad number, maybe I want to set that to wrong number. So on the phone burner side, you want to set each of your dispositions to match one of the standard call outcomes. Anything that does not match busy, left live message, left voicemail, no answer, or wrong number will get logged as a connected call. So that's why our previous call that was logged as a left message was actually logged in HubSpot with an outcome of connected because the phone burner status was left message and not left voicemail. So anyway, I hope this helps you and your team get more done in less time using the power of phone burner. Thanks again and happy dialing.